Yes, Bobby. I, I just want to throw an idea out there um, for, for anybody or all of you to, to, to pick over. Um, China as, as a country, for years we've, we've, we've worried that China was going to eat our lunch. This is the year where you know, it's now the second largest economy in the world. This is the year when the world turns to China to save us. And we are hoping that China, by buying uh, more and by, by lending more money, uh, will save the world from this particular economic situation. You know, the Europeans are looking to China to bail them out, uh, just as corporate America is to some degree. I'm sort of interested in hearing your opinions on that. We could finally do Hu Jintao this year, after all those years. <laughs> Anybody want to engage with that? You could, in, in a way, like saying the, the American president could be person of the year, China could be the, the person of the year every year, basically. Well, I think if China turns out to be the solution in Europe, you know, if Chinese money saves Europe, it will certainly be a complete shift as to the role America plays. Um, you know, I know Obama, you know, goes over to the G20 now, and it's not like, you know, he's like, is there anything I can do to help? Like, we could use some money. He's like, we're kind of tapped right now. <laughs> so uh, if China steps up, then I think they would make a very good argument that they would be the person. In fact, I meant to ask you whether uh, Merkel and Sarkozy were good guys or bad guys if they were person of the year. I think they kind of in, uh, would serve as that just having influenced the year the most. Um, I don't know if they're, uh, I, I do think that uh, the problem with Europe is how it's just too, there's no central idea. There's no, sen there's no coming together, of, like we have to get together to solve this crisis. There's a lot of people saying like, I think these people should pay for it, and I think these people should pay for it, and unless you have one central idea, which is what you need leaders for. I mean, that's where you need leadership, and I don't know if in the end history will show they were the leaders that Europe needed. Seth likes the G20 because every night is open mic night. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I had a, uh, a okay. question about China. A little Netanyahu humor is very Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. But the, but the question I have about China really, though, is, is whether the system is going to hold together in China or whether they might be, China, the Chinese government might be subject to some kind of revolution. Uh, and if that's the case, will China be the solution to uh, some of the economic woes around the country? I mean, around the globe. I, 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 don't, I don't know the answer to that. Maybe those of you who cover China would be more knowledgeable about what's going on internally uh, in China. So we have time for one more question. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to choose John Meacham, who knows <laughs> something about magazine making and making selections. He's a new contributing editor of Time, who writes <laughs> weekly for time.com and also a column in the magazine. John. Thank you, sir. This is not a suggestion, but I want to see if there's an assessment of the thesis. If the test is the individual who shaped the news the most, what is the case for and against George W. Bush in terms of the economy, the Arab Spring, Afghanistan, and are we in fact living in a world that he created, which the president would call a ditch, the incumbent president, but so the idea that we inherited the world that he yeah. helped create. For good and for ill. Who wants to weigh in on that? I don't think he did it as a strategy. I think he haphazardly fell into a lot of the mistakes that he made, and quite frankly, shouldn't be here in any sense. He did shape it, but he did it a long time ago. And right now, this year, we have to find somebody a, a little bit more compelling, a little bit more directed. <laughs> so well, why don't well, we thanks. end on that? <laughs> Um, I, I guess violent revolution is the real answer. I'm just trying to get someone to go for it. I think it. if you weren't doing just for him, like walking down to the mailbox, taking out his time and being like, how did this happen? <laughs> 2011? Honey, honey, did you see this? I've been on TV like twice this year. <laughs> this is one of those trick birthday well, what makes covers. You know, like, oh, God. This is Cheney's <laughs> trick joke cover. <laughs> <laughs> Not good for the brand, I think. I think that would be the answer. But, you know what, but Jesse, I want to allude to something you said. Know something about something. Everybody here knows something about something, has learned something about something. I'd actually argue that it's the greatest period in history to be in the news and information business, in part because of Steve Jobs and the fact that we can communicate in ways that we never have before. And I think that is changing the world. And I think this is the best person of the year panel we've actually ever had before. So have a good time watching back. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>